Good evening. Just six days into the official hurricane season and already the year's third named Atlantic storm is on the move. Tropical storm Colin is beating a dangerous path onto Florida's Gulf Coast at this hour, bringing several inches of rain and the threat of serious flooding. Florida's governor has declared a state of emergency. Sandbags have been distributed and some schools closed early in advance of tonight's landfall. NBC's Kerry Sanders is leading our team on the ground there and has the latest. Tonight, more than half of Florida under a state of emergency as Tropical Storm Colin pounds the coastline and floods low-lying areas. 6,000 National Guardsmen on standby waiting for the storm to create more havoc. All this is going to impact pretty much our, our entire state. We have the risk of tornadoes, lightning, hail, uh, rip currents, uh, all, all these issues. Already water spouts have popped up along the coastline. 57 mile per hour winds have pushed the rising tide further ashore and even closed down the Sunshine Skyway Bridge for most of the day. And this police officer fought the elements to control a boat that broke its moorings. With heavy rains expected through tomorrow, flooding in places like Cedar Key could be a problem for days. Isolated tornadoes, up to four to six inches of rain possible through tomorrow. This cold front will clear out the storm, but then trigger more storms by Tuesday evening across Florida. After Alex in January and Bonnie last month, Colin marks the earliest that three tropical storms have formed in the Atlantic Basin in 129 years. It's been a while, but this could be the season we're going to have more impacts than we've had in the past. With schools closed and local governments shutting early today, those who retreated inside to stay dry fear this latest storm will cost them. And sometimes it comes up over the beach and down the streets. And when it does that, then we're in really big trouble. Several airlines canceled flights in and out of the state today because of Tropical Storm Colin. Tonight, forecasters warn that conditions are favorable to the formation of tornadoes. Meantime, in the Florida Panhandle, emergency managers are warning folks there that there could be floods and those floodwaters could hit at a time when folks are usually asleep. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.